Hey yo everyone, welcome back to the Druid class playthrough in the Modern Redemption. I'm here mining my own business, get it? And I'm getting some goodies and stuff and look at this, I spotted the laboratory from the Modern Redemption. Probably one of my favorite things from the Modern Redemption is the laboratory, I like the whole idea behind it. And uh, you know, if we enter here at the wrong time, I think we're not supposed to enter into hard mode, but if we enter it now, we get shot down by like some turrets and like automated defense system, which is hilarious, it's really cool. Uh, that's what, all I wanna show off because I'm really scared to get any closer. That's it. That's the intro right there. Back to me mining. A blood moon has arrived, and as you can see, there's some new enemies from the Modern Redemption appearing, I think. Uh, I saw that, like, force golem that I was trying to find in the first episode, and it dropped living twigs there. Don't know if that's a blood moon specific enemy or if it's just, like, a nighttime forest enemy. But it spawned in nonetheless, so that's a plus there. Don't know. Actually, I think it does actually drop an item for the first boss in the mod. So that actually might be a good thing if more of them spawn in. Uh, obviously, the ideal goal here in a blood moon is to get that trough. Please let me get my hands on a trough, please. That's all I ever wanted in life. Seems like my only weapon that does damage is the uh, Valthorn Seed Bag. Amazing. So I guess that's what I will use for a majority of this Blood Moon. Oh, hold up. Death's Grasp Seed Bag? Look at that. Let's throw that out. Ooh, it's some hands. We get to, you know, cop a feel on some of the mobs here. Ow, I'm getting arrowed from both sides. Hold up. Let me get my hands on this dude. Well, pause on that one. You know what I mean. This is the Death Grasp. But yeah, cool that we got a new weapon. Beautiful. Let's hope we get that boss spawn or a piggy bank. Something. Some more goodies for the druid. I would like that. All right. Blood Moon is over. Here's our haul. Not the greatest. I bought five of these because I thought this dude was going to die. He did die. But it says we can use a revival potion on him. <laughs> He's been unconscious for three minutes. Oh, well. What's a revival potion? Uh, do I really care? <laughs> Can he just like respawn? I don't know. Yeah, uh, we got like a sword. Wow, look, sword. We didn't get a trough. Amazing. Uh, we did get two shackles, which actually means we can make that one item I wanted to make. Oh, looks like there's a bunch of them, actually. Uh, same thing. Stabs can cast faster and then has a chance to throw an extra seed and then forms a spirit skull. Okay, this one's actually different. I did say I wanted to do the stuff to throw out more seeds because it seems like we're splitting into subclasses here. It seems like the the seed bags are like the way to go though for being honest they, they they're like the easiest to get our hands on right now so it only seems right that i would like try and get more of them you can make a seed grenade maybe i shouldn't sell these then the death grass seed bags but yeah let's see what other stuff we got this ancient brass ancient brass used for anything uh oh look at that it is used for something six souls ancient brass okay tough alloy the heck is this Oh, it's a quest item. Cool that it actually is used for something so we can keep our hands on it. What about the living twigs? Anything else living twigs are useful for? I don't think so. What about these moon flare fragments? Are they used for anything? Ah, here we go. Moon flare stave. Druidic altar? Let's make it. I'm not even going to read it. Let's just go make it. Boom. Don't be bad. Blessed. Perfect. Uh, so it says special ability is triple shot slash glow. Stabs a shoot a single projectile. Shoot two more in an arc. Improved vision. Shoots moon flare sparks. Okay. So that's shooting triple shots, I think. Maybe double. And then when I right click, it's guaranteed triple shots. I don't know. Let's switch another stab. Yeah, look at that. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I think we get rid of the acorn one. The acorn one only does four damage. Because, like, I legit need some damage now. Our damage is kind of ass. But yeah, I guess if we stick to what I want to do, I think we take both of these shackles here and we go get our hands on some more moon glow. That way, you know, we can go ahead and uh, do my seed bag build. And then if, like, Worst comes to worst, we have mods in here where we can craft shackles and stuff, aka the IMK Sushi mod, which adds in all these tokens. We use the tokens to make more shackles if I want to switch it up. And right when I was about to get Moonglow, the slime rain started up, so we might have to take on the King Slime here. You know what I'm going to do then, since I'm not going to be able to go to the jungle, we're, we're going to fight this. I'm going to take gold here, and then I'm going to take some plants we don't need, and I'm going to turn them in to some beautiful knives. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Your slimes, yep. Let's uh, let's get rid of these slimes here so I can craft. Let's, let's do that, everybody. Keep some defense on me, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'll throw a couple of vile thorns on both sides so I can craft. But yeah, I want to make a couple of these right here. Druid daggers. Let's go ahead, let's make some. Boom. 400. I think that should be enough for King Slime. 
hopefully. And then let me make an arena real quick. Let me get all this stuff done. The King Slime is here. Let's do it, baby. We should be able to take him on, I hope. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Yeah, let me buff up here. Okay, I accidentally used a mining potion. My bad. <laughs> But, uh, I, yeah, I hope we can take it on. I have a, a new seed bag, the Moon Glow one. Let's see it in action. Nighttime is coming up, so maybe it'll be more effective because I think it's better at nighttime. I also still think our best seed bag is probably this one, if not the, uh, the Death Grasp. I think the Death Grass is pretty much the same thing as the Volthorn one. Just a little bit uh, faster to attack. The Volthorn one has to like grow out a little bit as you can see. But once it does grow out, it does do some great damage. So I think our best bet is the Volthorn one. Probably majority of this fight. Unless I want like some projectiles, then I can summon in these ones. And uh, get some projectiles going. You know what else I could do? I could right click with this staff and boom. Now I got projectiles going everywhere without me having to fire them. Very nice. And then if like I really want projectiles, you know, I switch to this stuff. So we got some options here. This fight is not bad. It is actually our first boss fight. I thought there was going to be another boss we fought before King Slime. But no, King Slime is actually our first boss in this series, I believe. Let me open it up. Yeah, King Slime. So that's good. That's good that it just naturally spawned in. I was going to just wait a little bit longer before I fought King Slime. But it's all good. It's all good. Either way, King Slime was probably going to die this episode no matter what. And the game is like, here, we'll, we'll just like help you out so you don't have to even worry about it. We'll spawn him in for you thank you terraria thank you for doing that let's go ahead let's summon in our projectile stuff and let's just let's just kill him with the stabs might as well forget the seed bags we're doing the damage with the stabs okay he wants to hide underground i see how it is i would be scared of me too i would be scared of me too there we go we have done it first boss of this series dead beautiful another blood moon has passed can you believe it back-to-back -back blood moons all right but yeah we got some goodies here mainly we got the moon glow but we got an orange blood root and with this orange blood root obviously we can make the blood root seed bag the only thing we need is shadow skills though so that's 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 a slight problem uh we won't be able to get that for a little bit but we still have the moon glow which means we can make whatever i was trying to make what was i was trying to make this four shackles yes let's do it i'm gonna be shooting out so many extra seeds hold up that don't sound right i'm gonna be shooting out so many extra seeds for my seed bags that it's gonna be insane let's see them here ready let's see so i get a chance to shoot like three now let me see it okay hold on it's kind of hard to tell there's two well maybe it isn't like a chance to shoot three it's just more of a chance to shoot an extra one as you can see like almost every single time i'm shooting an extra one except for once i say that now i'm not shooting an extra one either way it's gonna be helpful it's gonna be helpful it has to be helpful my seed bag run is gonna work i promise you you know what else i got during the whole entire blood moon i got even more death grasps so that means like i can make this seed grenade the thing is with the seed grenade oh no i can't it's a hard mode item but the thing with this is this like a non consumable I, it doesn't say consumable so i'm assuming it's a non-consumable all right but yeah what else can i do i have a bunch of seed bags here what else can i do at this current moment in time there's like death weed ones okay interesting but you need crim tame for that okay okay uh blink root this one gives us light gas root no idea what the hell that is glowing mushroom this one gives us a minor increase to all stats this could be nice to like throw during a boss fight that would give us buffs same thing with the heal shroom one i don't know though i feel like we kind of don't need it so i probably won't touch those uh nightshade we need nightshade a purple plant that blooms in the night never seen it before it's not like i'm searching around much at night because you know it's kind of a blood moon every night you know what i do want to find though this the sky flower one i should find the sky flower one because i swear that that one was really strong when i played a long time ago oh hey die trader what's up this is how you get free money in any playthrough you talk to the die trader thank you very much and now we got a little extra five gold look at that but yeah i guess that's what i will do i will look for the uh sky blue plant i'll search my world see if i can find it you know if not oh well it happens also i should probably start up magic storage soon before things get out of hand i kind of gotta find a place to live i feel like maybe the living with tree would be a good place to live hey speak about somebody living there what the hell <laughs> yeah that might be a good place to live just because it's a living with tree druid class you know it makes sense that or we'll come up with something else i don't know this is the third night in a row there's a blood moon 
what the hell is going on this happened in like the spirit mod playthrough i'm doing on my stream or on my twitch so like what the, i don't get it <laughs> is there something with mods that just makes like blood moons activate over and over big boy enemy alert look at this what is he called ancient stone gold let's beat his ass see what he drops what you dropping bro drop me some goodies let's hope my inventory isn't too full here he dropped a ancient world stave why do i keep on saying stave stav uh summon an ancient obelisk at your cursor point the obelisk emits a force field that increases players defense and endurance when near one place one at a time okay so it's a nice little buff he also dropped ancient stone and ancient dirt can grow ancient trees interesting so this means that oh hello who hit me when the time comes when we find that like ancient wood we can regrow it which will be amazing to be able to do because that means you know we could get some more uh ancient stuff in our uh weaponry a part of our weaponry like the ancient like seed bag or whatever moss seed bag and there's probably some ancient staves we can get so a bunch of goodies but yeah i'm down here in the jungle if you couldn't tell i'm trying to find the sky flower because it spawns here in the jungle now me just looking at the name sky flower i thought it spawned on somewhere in the sky i don't know <laughs> so I, I went to explore a bunch of sky islands and uh, uh you know i looked it up and it's like oh it spawns underground jungle and jungle of course makes sense sky flower I don't know who came up with that. Maybe that's 1.4. Maybe they changed it for 1.4 and I'm in 1.3 looking around like a dumbass right now. I don't know. Didn't really look at the changes. I'm just looking for the flower and what it said on the wiki and it said it spawns in the jungle. But yeah, look at this. It shows a little bubble around it. It gives us a nice little defensive buff here. I don't know how good the defensive buff is. Hold up. I'm getting jumped right now. Uh, it gives us 20 seconds of it. So we'll see our defense drop in 20 seconds from now. What's our defense at now? Okay, so it gives us a nice little six defense cool cool all right the eye cthulhu is about to spawn in so you know we might as well fight it um I actually record i recorded the second episode before the first episode premiered live so like i wasn't able to read like tips and stuff that you guys were giving me for this episode oh well it happens but hopefully we can beat the eye cthulhu here i i was able to read one comment that said that uh the armor since we made it out of gold if we wear a gold armor set the set bonus goes along with it something like that so we do actually get a set bonus if i wear the same like material that we use to craft the uh crown something like that yeah let's fight the eye cthulhu here what's gonna be the weapon that gets us a dub i don't know i don't know honestly maybe the staff the staff has been pretty damn good like look at the damage we're putting out with the staff let's place our damage out be careful here because i can die very very easily i am not exactly prepared for this boss fight that also is the eye cthulhu i am gonna heal up the nurse here in a second if the eye allows me to thank you no just because i forgot to also take out my big potions which uh that's not really that helpful that i forgot to do that i think i have big potions somewhere what the hell are they called just healing potion not big potion boom right here healing potion yeah i forgot to take that out but there you go i cthulhu that's two bosses down in one episode and the blood moon that's good progress that's good progress all right treasure bag obviously i cthulhu shield shield of cthulhu whatever i'm wearing it duh why would i not wear the shield of cthulhu is the best damn expert accessory made no argument don't even think about arguing it all right bro i haven't been using these druid daggers at all i just keep forgetting but yeah let's put everything else away it's all good well hold up we got some demonite now the demonite might be helpful let me take a look here let's pull up this boom anything directly we can make oh the hateful talisman of course corrupts all level four or lower spirits i have no idea what the hell that means i barely know the spirit stuff so then like corrupting it like i i know even less ah here's one of the next bosses the mysterious tablet that spawns in the keeper as you can see that's the oh, the fourth boss we're supposed to fight okay nice nice we have this right here cold-blooded druid stuff hmm okay we can also make this demonite stab uh we can make the death weed one okay there's a lot of options we have here i think hmm, actually i don't know maybe we could sit on this for a while not craft this until we be uh, i don't know we might have to craft it I, I gotta look let me look at the wiki real quick all right so i looked at it and we would be skipping like two armor sets if i made the cold-blooded set so we're not gonna do it is there anything else worth making i don't think we should make this stav 
just because uh, I don't know eight demon knight we can make this I do want to make this do I have death weed let's at least make that after we make this I think it's time that we look for the hall of heroes that way we can get our hands on the ancient wood or whatever it's called that is something I want to do in this uh video and then we'll probably end off after that death weed where do I keep my death weed ah one death weed perfect and then we need five demon knight bars got it all right so this worked out perfectly then we got something out of the boss fight and we're gonna use this now what what does it do does it does it do anything else i don't know i guess we could get rid of something we'll get rid of the uh death grasp um, as much as i like this it's a cool uh idea it's pretty much the death weed the, or the vile thorn seed bag but like a little bit worse smaller range i guess i don't know i have to get rid of something honestly i might get rid of this water leaf seed bag too this thing hasn't really been the greatest if i'm being honest we kind of like surpassed the use of it but yeah so the hall of heroes it spawns on the left side of the world either in the ice biome or underground desert obviously our deserts on the left here not our ice biome boom we find the hall of heroes then let's get to it hold up i need bombs and stuff i have found the hall of heroes it took me forever but i found it you know i looked at the map i'm like there's one dark spot on the map let me go blow up an area near that boom exactly where it was i'm a genius i wish i was a genius earlier and figured out it was right here but it's all good we found it nonetheless now i just gotta figure out how to get in here without like messing everything up i kind of don't want to just like break into all the structures and stuff because that would ruin the whole look the whole feel why would i want to do it that way oh here we go i think we could just go around the side over here yes perfect we got some like epic music some starbound type music hello who's in here <laughs> why y'all shooting explosions corp walker priest hello i'm game readers nice to meet you actually no i'm girth nice to meet you i will be placing this down okay I, okay yeah i did place it down and let's see if we could just uh kill everything here redemptive strike is that what that said just throw all this stuff in here, kill everything, and then let me get in here in peace. Oh, look, we got one more fiend to deal with. Come on, sir, get out of here. Get on out of here. I'm just here to check out the Hall of Heroes. Yes! Look at this place. Beautiful. I don't know what's in here. We got, like, statues. We got this statue right here. I think this statue right here is of a boss we find in the future. Let me see if I can find his name. Kingslayer 3. I think that's him. Maybe all these guys are named Kingslayer. Like maybe this is like two. Maybe this is like one. And this is Poo Poo, my favorite hero. I don't know. This is what it looks like. It looks like a pile of shit. I don't know if I'm supposed to like break anything here or what. I can right click this. What does that do? Should I look at the wiki or should I just do it? Okay. I'm hearing noises. Cursed gem. A gem or an eye? Uh, we also have Corpse Walker Staff. There you go. If you want to see a Summoner Staff, look at that. Uh, you feel like you're being watched. Who else is watching me? It says this statue right here. You watching me, bro? You better watch these hands I'm going to throw if you move around. All right, so what can I make here? Chalice of Alignment. Tells you your current alignment. A sentient treasure cursed with visions of what is yet to come. Okay? And then Lore Holder, which is a sword. A sentient blade cursed with infinite knowledge. Well, luckily for this playthrough, I'm not a melee user. So if I hold it, I get... I'm weak. Can I put this in your eye? It says you're watching me. Let me put this in your eye, bro. All right, let me hop on the wiki. Let me let me read around because, like, uh, this is where I'm supposed to get like something some cursed wood or not cursed wood ancient wood all right i read into the lore a little bit this guy is definitely kingslayer 3 this guy is the demigod of light but he's been like defaced or something to look like the hollowed knight this guy well actually i don't know i think it's this one actually this one's supposed to be the noob spelled like this and then this one is supposed to be like Nebulius. That's his name, Nebulius. And then it says in parentheses, guesswork. So I guess they're assuming <laughs> this is Nebulius. Interesting, very interesting. I don't know if you could break the stuff in here. I kind of don't even want to break it. I don't think you can actually. Yeah, you can't, okay. Uh, but it's really cool, really cool. I like this. I wish there was a little bit more significance to it. Maybe there is, and I just don't know. Actually, I'm pretty sure the wiki says there's not actually that much significance. But yeah, we can break all this ancient wood right here. This is where we're getting our ancient wood from. I know it's not a lot, but like, it's a start. It's a start. I think actually, I don't I really don't know how to grow ancient wood. I think you could like 
grow stuff on like ancient dirt maybe yeah i got ancient dirt from a drop so maybe we could grow it like that but let's see it here we got it here uh let's look for the ancient stuff what can i make there is a soul guiding stab probably can't make that there's actually a lot of stabs oh no those are just regular wood though we got this one right here the one i cared about the most was the moss seed bag because look we needed ancient wood for it we need lime kelp the lime kelp i might still have to find we got this right here ancient wood stab boom an emerald and we get like a 33 damage stab that's crazy and then we got like the ancient wood set itself which can be a summoner set and a druid set beautiful i think this is our next armor set but that one's kind of skippable i think we still have the option anyways bucket of chicken i still need to get a bucket of chicken for that quest the yeah, other than that we, we got our hands on ancient wood I'm, I'm happy about that we will uh figure out what we do next with it soon but yeah there you go let's head back to the surface now all right a couple things here before i end off the episode i have planted the trees look at them hopefully they have ample enough space to grow i don't know maybe i, I already messed up and they're not supposed to grow like this who the hell knows i'm gonna move torches far away just in case maybe i'm supposed to grow them in a specific area that might that might be a thing too all right but other than that let's come over here i have a a thousand druid daggers we're gonna make the druid shuriken uh which is just a non-consumable version of the daggers i believe so boom there you go might as well throw that dagger don't need it anymore and now we got this beautiful so it does a little bit less damage since it's non-consumable that's perfectly fine and when i say a little bit less i think it's exactly one damage but now we got a little extra weapon here but yeah let's take this chalice and let's take the uh, cursed gem can i craft whatever the hell it was or do i need a certain crafting thing oh i need a demon altar okay we're gonna make this i hope this is the right thing to make i don't know whatever i don't care if it isn't or not uh worst comes to worst will just spawn it in if i fucked up by not making the melee weapon so let's go to a demon altar which we have a nice easy safe path to kind of so let's take it might as well boom we're here already bam chalice of alignment greetings i'm chalice of alignment and i believe any action can be redeemed okay cool what's my what's my current alignment you are truly neutral thank you that's honestly what i expected i didn't expect anything less didn't expect anything more one more thing i want to check out here i made some gold armor and look at this i put it on boom set bonus 15 percent increase increased druidic damage amazing that's very cool i'm not gonna wear it yet maybe later on i do want to explore the other armor sets first uh including the ancient wood one and then including the like soul one spirit one was it soul lost soul one but i need to get more lost souls for that but yeah i'm gonna end the second episode off here again i recorded all this before the uh, first episode was posted at least like a majority of this episode i recorded first before it was posted but now i can read your tips and stuff keep on leaving tips and stuff because like i said in the last episode i have no idea what i'm doing with this class i barely have touched it but yeah i hope you guys are enjoying it hopefully game raiders month is still going strong if not oh well thank you for watching